everyone, I am Tacit, and welcome back to another Puzzle Quest The Legend Return stream. Currently, we are playing Blood Mage, which is the hardest possible class that was added in the HD remake for uh, Puzzle Quest that we're playing right now. Uh, we're playing on hard difficulty for every single battle, so we're basically using the combination of the hardest possible difficulty that this game has. Uh, we are currently in uh, Dunkirk, continuing with all the dwarves, and I believe this is the uh, second part of the game. I think it's cut into four parts, if I'm not mistaken, and this is the second one right now. Uh, we're getting close to level 25, which should be when we get ridiculously overpowered, because then we'll be able to get the po well, I believe that's poison off of that battle. Uh, with the Snake Fang battle, which we need about level 25 because the ba battle itself is 25. Uh, we could t technically do it slightly before. But the other reason we specifically need level 25 is uh, we get what should be one of our best spells at 25. Uh, it, uh, all damage taken is also taken by the enemy. And assuming that this works on all of our abilities that do like 20% to ourself, 10% to ourself, stuff like that, that should be a ridiculously massive amount of damage. Because not only will they take all the damage that um, they do to us, but it'll also take all the damage that we to our, do to ourselves, to them. So basically, we'll just auto win. <laughs> and once we get Soul Bond, if we have more HP than them, we just auto win. Uh, especially with how little mana that takes. So it'll be interesting to see how that exactly pans out. It doesn't last forever, how it, however, it takes so little mana that that is probably going to be broken beyond belief. Uh, even if it doesn't work on our own HP and just on them damaging us, that's still going to be ridiculously good. But if it works on our own, then that's just going to be like auto win for the rest of the uh, uh, the battles all through mid game and late game. That'll be interesting to see exactly how it interacts. Anyways, let's go continue. Why do I have a feeling I got to go do the dwarf voice again? That is so hard on the voice box. <laughs> but it's such a fun character to voice, I do have to say. Um, the, um, oh, what's his name? I can believe I forget his name now. Well, we'll see you in a second <laughs> with the dwarf guy. I don't remember most of the names for everyone in here other than Nihi. Also, we haven't found Nihi yet, have we? He's another pretty fun one to uh, voice. Not as fun as the dwarf, though. I said earlier that Nihi's the funnest to voice. I lied. It's the dwarf. It's definitely the dwarf. But hello, everyone. Hello, Isabel. Hello, Elite. Hello, Zidigus. Hello, Mason. Welcome, everyone. You're a 17 now on Pally? Nice. Yeah, I haven't been playing too many of the other classes yet. I, I do need to, though. I will be off stream and then probably do one other one on stream. But anyways, let's continue. Oh, never mind. It's her. Oh, I don't like voicing her. She has, I don't know what to do for her voice is the biggest problem. <laughs> I hear you had some words with the orc lords of the uh, neighboring clans. I did. I don't think they'll uh, give you any trouble for a while. That's because you don't know them. They'll be beating their chests again in a week or two. Now, uh, what can I do for you? Uh, I need to find out uh, why the orcs are uh, taking prisoners. Uh, who should I talk to? Uh, you would do best to talk to uh, Grukar, uh, the great orc himself. Travel south to the uh, orc hold of uh, Gr Grulok. Uh, you will find him there. Don't expect him to be too helpful, though. Okay, uh, I believe we have to battle him a few times. We'll continue with the normal quest line. I don't think I'm going to decide quests yet. Uh, so we will just go down there. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I have claimed this kingdom. So I can use the citadel here if we want to. Uh, I do need to also get a quicker mount. We're currently still using this uh, rat, which is not good. Uh, also, every single time you reset the game, for whatever reason, I'm not sure if that's a glitch or intended, it resets back to normal. So we have to every single time set it back to hard. Not for every battle, but every single time we restart the game, we have to put it back to hard difficulty. Anyways, let's get this wolf out. I don't believe this is a mount. The wolf itself is. However, this battle is not. Uh, wild card here. Can we use it? No. Uh, what do we take then? I guess we go for red. We definitely need red. Extra turn off it. Nice. Uh, we do have life drain. Not enough to actually turn off it. So we'll wait. We need 15 red for that. I do another dwarf voice for her. I guess I could kind of do it like the male voice. The problem is if I try doing a male, uh, if I try doing a dwarf verse voice for her. It's going to sound like a male, like 100%. I could try it, though. It'll 100% sound male, though, if I try. I can only do that voice for a female dwarf. I mean, for a male dwarf, I mean. 
Uh, but I'll try it for the next dialogue. It doesn't work as well for her, though, because she has, like, a really normal-sounding dialogue. I could do, like, a dwarfish accent. Uh, do I life drain? I guess we life drain for that for now. Take the other one. And now, so far, currently, almost all of our equipment is crafted. It's probably going to stay like that for most rest of the game. The only thing that we haven't crafted is the current weapon we're using. And that will change once we get poisoned. Once we get poisoned, literally every item we have will be poisoned. There's not a single one that won't be. Because poison is ridiculously good in this game. So much so that it's, um, you can use it as your only damage source and still win. But we'll be using it a lot once we get to that point. We're just not at that point yet. Oh, I guess we'll throw three uh, life drain at him. Might as well. Keep that max HP. Actually, I should probably throw a bolt at it. We have enough life that we get quite a substantial amount of damage from uh, bolting now. Uh, no good Cascade. He doesn't get the skull there, which we should probably heal back out of. Uh, he did get an extra turn there, which is probably going to make him go for the skull or not. Want this, uh, the uh, wild card too much to go for it. Nice little doom skull up there. Very nice. Uh, do we have a drop for the extra turn? No. I can grab a bunch of red out of it, though. So, uh, that red will backfire, so I probably shouldn't. Uh, so we'll probably just go life drain the bullet, it looks like. Get back up. Bolt him down for 16. Wow, that's good. Blood Bolt's gonna be so broken if, um... I don't think they fully balance this class. <laughs> like, if, if our 25 perk actually reflects every little bit of damage, even the stuff we do to ourselves, that's going to be, even, like, this part of mid game it's gonna be like um let's see it does 10 percent of our thing that would be approximately 28 damage and it's only gonna get higher as we progress through the game so it does get slightly lower as we take damage but uh still like right now it'd only be 13 if we were to do it but later it always does 10 it always does uh 10 percent of our total life is damage so even if we were at, let's say, 50 HP, but our total HP was 150, it would do 15 damage to us, meaning it would at minimum do 17. The 15 from our just HP that we have, and then the extra 2 that it does automatically. Uh, what do I take here? Oh, and also 10% of what our current HP would be. It'd be 10% of our current HP, 10% of our max HP, and um, plus 2 what it would come out to at that point. So much math. Luckily, I have a calculator if we need it. Though I don't think we're going to have that intense of a battle where I'll need to bring a calculator out for it. And <laughs> bring a calculator to battle. I almost did that for Fire Emblem earlier. <laughs> Off stream. Like, bringing out a calculator just to see if we would actually... Um, what the uh, damage would have come out to. Mainly because I need to determine what multiple targets would come out to in uh, my maddening mode. Uh, we'll take uh, Life Drain into the red right there. Uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> Sound do a whale's moaning noise. <laughs> Rude. I'll pull Salty. Rude. <laughs> I can't say rude anywhere near as close as Salty does. I'm so bad at voice acting. <laughs> Never said I was good at it. I just said that we would do it. Uh, cultic music or medieval music? Definitely medieval music. Unless you're saying which one the preference is for. If you're referring to which one this game is, I have not the slightest clue. <laughs> I'd probably say it's more medieval than... Um, and cultic though some battles would be otherwise the main music of the game is more medieval really just the theme of the game in general is closer to that okay, let me just blood bolt him so low that we might as well just kill him out already playing this battle as if he has like a billion life already but he's pretty much dead and now he's dead okay let's keep moving forward oh no why is there another one right in front of us ah, we don't have it avoid at least we're getting close to capturing him after we fight it three times we just capture it if it has anything good um it might give us how but how isn't good we already have enraged so it can't give us enrage 
The only thing it can give is his howl. Unless it gives us rabbit bite again, but we can get that off of rabbit. I mean, not rabbit, off of, um, off of the, um, I almost just said bunny. <laughs> off of the, uh, rat, which we currently have. Which, actually, we literally have right now, that ability. Because of the rat. Uh, I guess we go for green here. Or red, though. But I guess that technically helps us take red. Following turn, anyways. Oh, no, or not. But luckily, it's right up there. They are the almighty calculator. Most powerful tool. Oh, so hello, Drock. Welcome. Before auto boost ratio, you use Gems of War for math lesson with your son. That's funny. Well, you still have to do some math, uh, math even with the uh, boost ratio. Because they don't add the final damage that's going to do it just does the boost ratio already but you still have to add it to the base value of whatever the ability is which obviously is a lot less work but it doesn't do all of it for you there's also some things you still have to calculate the boost ratio for like board control related ones where it can't know what it will be beforehand okay, i'm just gonna blood bolt him there Blue just used fear on us, which shouldn't matter much. Fear seems pretty underwhelming. It halves your stats, which sounds like it would do a lot, but it's about as effective as Jinx is. Actually, theoretically, it's exactly what Jinx is in Gems of War, because it halves your masteries, uh, as well as all your stats, but um, just like Gems of War, it halves your masteries, which, uh, just like in Gems of War, it is useless. So I guess they captured that part of uh, Gems of War pretty well, or Puzzle Quest 1, where they captured how useless uh, fear is. By doing the same thing with Jinx. Because Jinx is... Jinx in Gems of War is essentially what fear is in this game. It just halves your masteries. As well as your stats. But essentially just your masteries. Yeah, it halves um, all fours color things. And it halves all those little things right there for your stats. Uh, we'll do that. Of course in Gems of War just halves the three masteries. Because that's the equivalent of it in Gems of War. I should have taken that right, actually. Quickly, he left it there. Grab it. Oh, we're diseased again. That's not nice. Okay, uh, I don't have a drop for that. I'll just try for Sky Skull. I don't get it. Let's grab it. It's fine. Grab yourself a... I guess I take yellow, just because we have so little blue, and it's just going to get drained anyways off the multi-disease we have. It's distracting from the inevitable. going to happen. Oh, not if that happens, though. No, he's, pro he's probably not going to win. That'd be very unlikely. Grab some of his reds. Skull up there. Our skulls are still pretty underwhelming. Once we get that poisoning, I will never say that again. Because poison will carry us ridiculously hard. Actually, no, it won't. Our level 25 ability will. But, uh, well, technically they both stack, so we can do both. Don't just have to use one. Though, if I do get rid of the HP modifier for the uh, poison, it will make our um, bolts a little bit weaker. Those are some of our other reflects. So who knows? Maybe we keep the HP. We'll see. He's having a really high HP is pretty relevant on this class. And we can't really level up morale because it takes three points per level. Well, theoretically we could. It's just a really bad idea to do so. Really, in general, in Puzzle Quest uh, 1, you should um, basically never put uh, points into any skill that requires three for the class. It's not worth it. There's so many other ways that you could do it between equipment and um, buying the stats with gold or um, um, uh, equipment bonuses. There's no point in it. Ah, uh, what do I grab here? Oh, actually, I just realized something funny. I probably shouldn't say what I just said or what I'm thinking, though, <laughs> because there's something related to next patch. But there's actually something in this game that actually reminds me of something in the next patch. Also, I was just playing the beta again last night, and um, it's a pretty nice patch. It's such a singular thing, though, 
that if I even remotely hint at it, it'll be extremely obvious what it is. Well, we'll hopefully be able to say something about it this Saturday when they post a spoiler image. Oh, what do I grab? Just stick to EXP. We're in a really weird situation here. He might actually kill us. Because he keeps getting so many diseases on us. He's at a three stack already. Quickly, they don't last forever. Oh, well, if that happens, that's not good. Right, let's go poke him. <laughs> they're adding purple stars, aren't they? Uh, luckily, that is not what they're doing. Yeah, purple stars and gold only end up appearing in this game. They end up replacing that out for Puzzle Quest 2 and all their other games. Mainly because it's pretty trivial having gold and stars on the board. Because it's the other four that you really need. Or, you know, the colors that you really need. And skulls. I'll take the green for now. I'm not going to try sky greening it. Take the guarantee. Also, we're not diseased at the moment. Go figure. Thought he was going to perpetually disease us all battle. Good thing he's not. I really need a bolt. Actually, no, never mind. I shouldn't bolt him. That's only six damage. What I really need is more red to go life drain him. I could try for it out for sky, but he skulls us if I don't. I think he he skulls us either way. I'll try for it. Didn't get it off the sky, though. And we'll just have to grab it then. Life drain him, go from there. Be careful, we could still lose this. It is on hard after all. No, we'll drop that for the reds. Unfortunately, we can't use that for reds. That wild card. I can't drop this either, and he's gonna deny us if I try taking it, so we'll just go and uh, life drain him. Luckily, it gives us extra turn for the free reds. Uh, that's enough for another life drain. It'll end our turn, though. I guess I do that into Blood Ball and that will kill. He doesn't have uh, good armor, so that should be fine. Uh, let's go Life Drain him. Actually, let me take that skill and then Life Drain. And I'll be dead. Life Drain and Bolt. Oh, he actually turned off it. Nice. Uh, life Drain him. And Bolt kill. And he's dead. Oh, I don't have enough red. That's not good. Part for Sky Red, I guess. Didn't get it. Uh, take the red and then he's dead. There we go. And blood bottom. Victory! Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, now that we're here, go and uh, visit. We'll probably siege it while we're here. Go away, puny human. I want to talk to Grilar, or Grilker. If you want to talk to Grilkar, bring him nice presents. Then maybe he to see you. Uh, what exactly one give an orc for presents? Wargs like near the uh, Warg stone west of here. Bring Grulak a warg pelt. To the war pelts. Uh, what do we want? Battle the wargs. Get the warg pelt. Uh, apparently we fought one before. Oh, let's fight one again. Probably because I thought it was a wolf. Apparently it's a warg. Have you tried the new Strife CE? Strife CE? Wait, is that the MOBA Strife? I have like over a thousand hours in that game. That was a really good MOBA. Wait, is that the game I'm thinking is? Did they like make it, remake it? I know they sold it to some Asian company. Did they finally like localize it uh, worldwide? Because I know one of the biggest issues is they sold it to some Asian company and then it was like only like in China. But, and it was never localized anywhere else other than China. But, um, is that a thing? Is that one like Steam? Is that even the thing I think it is? If that is, that's amazing. Also, why is Steam taking so long to load? I'll need to go check that. If they remade Strife but better, I might start playing that. Strife, honestly, was the best MOBA I ever played, personally. I really, really loved how it was set up. It was really basic, but still, like, had all the elements that made it fun. And I really like the regen system and stuff like that. And overall, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I preferred it more than Dota 1 and 2. It's a lot more like League of Legends, though. 
So it had like overlap of um, like people who would like it. Tacos or nachos? Definitely. Um, actually, that's a hard choice. It depends how you do them up. Um, I don't know. I like the cheese sauce and, the sauce and nachos, but I probably like tacos better overall. Because the biggest issue with nachos is they're mostly just chips. Of course, you could put a bunch of stuff on the chips. But it's more so what you're putting on them more so than the nachos themselves. Um, yeah, what's this thing that you just mentioned? Oh, so why am I checking Steam rather than just Googling it? <laughs> Not coming up. Let's see. Should probably go check the Googles. Let's see. Let's check the almighty Googles. I'm not sure what you're referring to with that. Break CE. Uh, let's see. What is Strife CE? Strife was abandoned by its development studio S2 Games back in 2007. Since then, it was not uh, possible anymore to play the MOBA. Uh, let's see, I know. What is this? Hold up. What is this? Community edition. Well, how active is it? Boom. Interesting. Strife was abandoned by its development studio S2 Games back in two, 20, uh, 2017. Since then, it was not possible anymore to play the MOBA versus other players. Strife CE Community Edition is a project run by the community to make Strife playable again. Download the new Strife CE client now to join the community and play this awesome MOBA again. Yes! Wow. I wonder how active it is. I barely ever supported anything on Patreon. I might need to support that on Patreon. <laughs> Strife is like the best MOBA I've ever played. For sure. I miss playing that MOBA. Uh, take the thing down. I really wish it wasn't abandoned. Oh, uh, what do we take here? They've abandoned almost every project they've ever worked on that studio, though. I didn't realize until they, after they abandoned that. I did research into it, and they've abandoned literally everything they've ever worked on. Which is unfortunate. They would have just stuck with one thing. They could have succeeded like so many times over. But they keep doing it just for the money. And whenever something like starts failing slightly, they just go into the next thing. And most of the games they make aren't even that bad either. Like they're actually pretty decent. But then they like abandon them as soon as they like start not making as much money. It's really weird. Like if they would have stuck with Strife, that could have been like the new Smite. Or what was it called? Yeah, is it called Smite? I never actually played that one, just because I don't like the aspect of it, the aspect ratio of it as much. I should give it a try at least once, though. But, um... Yeah, I think Smite's the one I'm referring to. But, uh, it, it, it could have been the next Smite, but they, uh, didn't keep developing it for whatever reason. The next Smite as in it, around that category. Like, League of Legends and Dota 2 are in its own category. And then, um, you know, it could have been at the, like, level of Smite, which is probably a bit more mid-range. Uh, what am I taking now? I need life drain. I'm like trying to use life drain while not having the mana for it, which is why I'm like fumbling around the abilities. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Can I support you on my make-believe Patreon? Well, I have a Patreon if anyone wants to support me. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Definitely helps out a lot. I think we're currently at about $130 worth of support. That reminds me, I still need to go overhaul my... Patreon page. It is, like, so dated. I don't think I've updated it for, like, two years now. <laughs> There's not really, like, any perks associated to it, which is another thing I should, like, revamp with it. But, um... Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, I'll take that. Grab our reds. And it definitely helps a lot with how bad uh, YouTube's uh, monetization has been lately. But luckily, we're coming up to the bigger months, but even then, it still looks like I'm making slightly less. Like, I'm making way less this, um, this, uh, September than I did last September, for sure. 
And that's bad if the next few months are like that too. Because um, October, November, and December, particularly November and December, are the most profitable uh, uh, months to ever do YouTube. Because there's always more advertisers for the holidays. Uh, what am I looking for? Let's just go Blood Bolt for now. But yeah, thank you. Uh, who was that that brought it to my attention? Um, oh yeah, thank you, uh, Tribe Music, for bringing that to my attention. Like, I totally need to go play, um, Drive. <laughs> I need to go totally play the community edition of it. Do you happen to know when it actually came out? Let me see if it came out on that page, if it mentions. I'm really, really curious when this actually got released. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to check it out later. Not right now, though. Too many good games coming out lately. <laughs> Why is everything getting a remake lately? Let's see, how many things have gotten a remake in the last, like, month alone? Or even in the last week alone? Let's just assume Strife came out that thing in the last week. Even though that's not technically a remake, but, it, you know, it's playable again, so let's just call it one. I'm not even sure if it came out in the last week. It probably came out, like, a month ago or even months. But, um, let's see. There was this. There was Castle Crashers. Um, well, I guess Ori in the Blind Forest isn't technically a remake. It's coming out this Friday. I believe it's just the same thing ported to Switch, so that's technically not a remake. But uh, there's a lot of them. It seems like a really big trend lately with just games in general. Is why make new games when we could just remake old games with just slightly better graphics or possibly add some content? Like at least um, with this remake, they added like a decent amount of content. They added five classes which almost doubled the amount of classes. They added all the old DLC. They added um, uh, bug fixes. They added controller support. They added touchscreen support. They added um, um, they added 100 quests and a DLC that came with it, a bunch of new items, and yeah, all that. Okay. Grab um, screen for now. Get one over. Get our life drain into a poke apparently. Oh, he's gonna poke us. Yeah, Smite is on Switch. I've been meaning to try it. And I've been meaning to give League of Legends like a better try too. Though really no point if um, Strife came out because Strife is basically League of Legends from what I've heard. For better or worse. And I would say better based on my the way I prefer it. Oh, uh, do we take here? We'll throw this into... Um, Bolt thing there. So obviously, League of Legends has like a billion more player base. But as long as it doesn't take too long to queue into a battle, doesn't really matter. Uh... Oh, it's just telling me to take the star. I don't know if I want to take the star. Is that our only move? Apparently. He gets Doom Skull for that, obviously. Oh, so what's that ability he currently has active? That is not a hide. Oh, so he almost just killed us. Uh, Hasted. Does four damage to your opponent whenever you gain an extra turn. This thing. I gotta be careful with that. Uh, so what's the game plan here? We need heals. We need greens for that. For all of our greens. And skulls. Or for both. Oh, that's not good. I meant for us, not for him. Uh, well, we got a bit of a problem then. I get some blue just in case. Really need that green red though. We might die. Our green, but he's gonna deny it. Wild card. Can I use that? No, I cannot. I can use it for yellow, but that's not gonna really help us. But I guess I do it just so he doesn't get it. One extra turn. Alpha 2. Nice. For 5 there. He's actually winning. Uh, until we even up with that. But all we're now is even. More red, but that's not going to do us any good if we don't have green. Because I can't go Blood Bowl him. It's going to do almost kill us. It's going to do 14 damage to us if I try Blood Bolting him again. Yeah, let's collapse all this. Ah, no. At least he didn't get a skull out of it. If anything, we get a skull out of it. Uh, so we'll take that over. Grab all the free greens. It doesn't do as much since we don't have red, but... If we take that red, we'll be good to go. Nope, never mind. We still need plus one more red. I need more reds. Uh, as well as mastery when I said more reds. Let's go and get that so we can just get it in one turn with an eight. 
be able to get that soon, but can't currently. Good, there's our red, and we won. Hopefully we get a star off the top. Nope. Like it doesn't kill us right now. Should be good to go. Oh, he tried. He was thinking about it. He didn't go all the way, though. Well, we'd be able to win right now if we had one more red, but we'll just take that. Quickly, the extra turn, and he's dead. There we go. Is that the only one we have to kill for the quick storyline? I think so. Check it. Back we go. Uh, give him back his pelt. Lord Grokar, I bring you a gift. A warg pelt. I think it is uh, from a baby warg. It is so small. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I have some questions for you. Of course you do. Humans always have questions. Talk too much. Ask too much. So, you may ask one question. And only, uh, and I will answer you. I am a great and kind and wise leader, am I not? Fine. I want to know why are you talking, taking uh, prisoners from Agaria and Silvermare? I am not taking them. I have no need for these slaves. I have all of the goblins I could never need. I am the great orc, and I follow no orders except my own. But some orcs are weak. They follow a new master in the north, and he tells them to bring slaves, or they themselves will become slaves. Thank you, Lord Grokar. Uh, that's very helpful. There we go. Uh, while we're here, let's go siege the kingdom. I think we can take it. What level are you? Siege. Level 15 easy. I'll take it. We've been needing to take more kingdoms, so while we're already here, let me go take the kingdom. And he'll help us with some extra battle. We make our battle not horrible because our battle stat otherwise is zero. <laughs> and now it's 10 because he gave us 10. Okay, so just have to be a little bit careful. Uh, just go for drain, spam. Oh, let me go back to chat. I'm missing all the chats. Uh, hello, Cookie. Welcome. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I know. They have no confidence in new IP, so they're just uh, constantly recreating the old ones. The uh, movie industry is uh, having the same problem, too. A lot of industries are. Like, they just keep repeating the same things over and over again. They just constantly keep remaking it instead of trying something new. Actually, wasn't the Frozen trailer trending the other day? I didn't bother watching it. But, like, Frozen 2. All they're doing is just spamming it now. Because they made, like, a billion and a half. <laughs> Actually, when I say they make a billion, I'm probably not even exaggerating. They probably made like way more than that. I'm not even sure how much movies make, but I'm pretty sure between merchandise and everything, they made absurd amount of cash from Frozen. Uh, basically just printed them money. Get a life drain. Get a blue right over there. Actually, I printed some money too from that. Because I used to sell some Frozen related uh, stuff when I used to do flea marketing. Uh, let's see. It didn't make that much money though. But it contributed to all the other stuff that I was selling. Because I mostly primarily sold um, toy related things. Mostly Legos and stuff. But um, I would sell, I would sell pretty much anything I could get my hands on. If I could get an object and sell it for more than I paid for it. That's basically what I sold. So it was mostly focused on um, Legos and various toys. Oh, let's see, a little life during that. Blue. Nice little cascade out of it. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll life drain it. Then we get into a bunch of greens. Uh, what else do I need? Take it a red from over here. Let's take that red right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. It sounds like Donald Trump if you were drunk. <laughs> uh, let's see. I know orcs are still horrible in Gems of War. They're like one of the worst classes in Gems of War. Or among one of them. They also have two of the worst mythics in the game. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure how they managed to do that. 
But the two arguably worst mythics in the entire game are actually orcs. Actually, a lot of stuff directly based on Puzzle Quest 1, or at least loosely based on it, are all useless. Gog and Good, which is based on the first boss in Puzzle Quest 1 that we defeated previous stream, was uh, is useless in Gems of War. Um, orcs are useless in Gems of War. Uh, Rockworm in the current state of the game is useless in Gems of War, though at one point it used to be good, but that's not even remotely the case anymore. And um, there's probably a few other instances. Also, I really, really want them to add Lord Bane as a mythic to um, Gems of War. I'm not sure how they haven't done that yet. I guess it might be a copyright issue, I guess, possibly. But they could do the same thing they did with Gog and Good, where they, like, reverse the name or do something similar. Like, they could call it the Bane Lord instead of Lord Bane. Uh, let's see. I'll take that down. Grab herself a skull. Also, we might actually lose this uh, castle plate. Hopefully not. I need more tributes. Oh, wow. That was a really lucky skull. Not only did we get a Doom Skull on it, but we also got our 8 extra damage from our thing. We double Doom Skull, then got the extra 8 from our weapon, which has a 5% uh, chance to do 8 additional damage. Among a few other things. Actually, this is several things for us. 5% chance for 8 damage, 10% uh, chance for extra turn, and that stacks with our um, other percent chance to uh, turn, which is currently 5.75. I believe they're two individual rolls, and uh, adds 2 to our damage every single time. Take a Skull. Okay, let's take red. Uh, I should probably blood bolt him some. But then again, never mind. I lied. Probably shouldn't blood bolt him. This is a kind of battle where we need every last HP we have to not die, just in case. Unless we get him to like under um, like 30 HP, then we might blood bolt if we're still above half HP. But I doubt that's a combination of circumstances will arise. Hello, Mammoths! Welcome! Okay, what else do I need? Go grab a... What do I even want? I guess we life drain. Problem is, what's our follow-up? <laughs> yeah, follow-up. I guess I try for double yellow. Nope. Skull? Nope. At least he can't take any skulls. Someone's gonna get a lot of value out of that. Too bad we don't have an explosion. I still need an explosion board control spell. So we can take those kind of instances. They're really strong in this version of the game. Ooh, nice. Grab that. Simply because HPs are in a way that taking a single Doom Skull is actually relatively powerful. Uh, we'll drop this. I can't take any extra turn here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it this way so we can take the red instead of dropping it the other way. I still have to turn. Grab it for Doom Skull. We actually collapse it so we take some yellow out of it. I don't really need it, but still. Just to grab it. Just in case. A store turn, we could grab the other skull. Okay, we definitely won. Let me life drain him. Uh, now would be a time to blood bolt. Hey, so we did get that combination of circumstances. At around 30, we would. As long as we don't have a skull here, we will take it, but we'll take that first. I should have blood drained him. Oh, never mind, we didn't have the threads. Oh, yes, if we do, we could channel fire. Channel fire, uh, life drain him, blood bolt him. And he dies next turn to anything. And apparently, that's cool. There we go, we've claimed our second kingdom. There we go. Okay, two kingdoms down. Many, 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 many more to go. Uh, get quests. Uh, the uh, Regent Hunt. A lot of gold. I might get it just while we're out here. So we don't have to backtrack here. Though I believe we have to backtrack here later for other reasons. <gasps> Wait, is this Nihi? <gasps> ah, we found him! I didn't realize where Nihi was. We found Nihi. Hello, hello! You apply to Nihi for work. Yes, yes. You need uh, some spell components? Yes, yes. Wasp wings from the wasp hive and the ice troll here from the area. Nihi will pay you well. We found Nihi. Okay, where do you want it? Uh, All the way over there is where he wants it. Let me go get it for him. Wasp hive. Oh, we get to preemptively fight some wasps before we have to fight the harder wasps. Oh, can I spam this quest? If we could do three wasp kills here, I believe we could just capture the um, 
the runestone one, which would make it a lot easier. Also, I don't think I fully captured his voice there. <laughs> the knee he voice. I know my throat's already starting to hurt from voices. Not used to voice acting. Uh, we're going to have a problem. That match poison. We grab here. Take that for now. Try getting star drop. Hey, we actually got it for extra turn too. The only problem is I don't really need the extra turn with this board. Try for the. Actually, no, I'm not gonna try for that. I want to give. Wow, maybe I should have. Couldn't get a skull out of it. Whoops. Oh well. No way we could have known we would have gotten that many extra turns in a row. Uh, we'll take the blue. Try for like multi red. Let me life train him first. We're gonna need a lot of life off him. Not die. Be good. Uh, skull or red? Probably red. I mean, uh, probably skull, I mean. We'll take red if it's still there, or if we have to turn it. Perfect. Grab that. What else we need? Uh, another life drain would be good. Blood Bolt, while we have max HP, is also fine. Nice 16 hefty damage. Also gives us HP to now go heal. But then again, the poison's also doing that for us. What is your favorite troop from every rarity in Gems of War? Uh, well, it depends what we're basing it by. But overall, um, common would probably be, that's hard without actually being able to see them. Hmm. It depends on what factor you're basing it off of though. Like out of pure usefulness or just overall or troop art or any other number of factors. Uh, Sunbird's definitely my favorite ultra rare, regardless of the factors. Dragon Soul's probably my favorite legend, similarly. Uh, though, from an actual meta perspective, it's not as good in later on in the game. I got my level uh, level that meta in late game. It's not really that useful. Other than for soul farming, but I don't really need soul farm. Uh, what do I grab here? Yeah, should I go spoil something about next patch? Like, almost no one will hear it if I say it now. It would be spoiling it without even spoiling it. Like, I wouldn't actually need to say anything while actually still saying something. But, um, I guess I'll mention it. But, um, we might be getting something new for soul farming. Not the way you think it is. But, um, the easiest way to put it is the previous way of soul farming will be the new way of soul farming, kind of. That's probably the most I could say in that regard without, like, completely giving it away. I know they're not bringing back the old challenges. Uh, let's see. Get, uh, actually, no, I don't need life drain. Actually, I might just blood bolt him again. We still have a little bit of HPs. Uh, it's why I haven't covered the soul farming video. This is why I mention it. If you wonder why I haven't, it's because of that. <laughs> Because I would just have to redo it again next patch. That's why I haven't been mentioning it much. Uh, da, 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 da. Go over. I know you have like a billion souls. A lot of people do. You know, just maybe they'll add a soul sink soon. Not like Soul Forges as well. I'm really surprised how ineffective Soul Forge is at sinking souls. Like the whole point of it was quite literally to sink souls. And it doesn't even do that. <laughs> Obviously that wasn't the only purpose of Soul Forge. However, it's in the name, Soul Forge. Like you think it would be a sink for souls, but it, it doesn't really do it that well. Oddly enough. So where are blues? I need so many blues. Except for that one, because that one backfires. Actually, does it? No, it doesn't. That's safe to take. Nice. Almost got a heroic effort off it, too. Uh, well, we won't bolt him yet, because we just go for the uh, Doom Skull there. That's a nice double. And we actually turned. Uh, wow, he is, like, super dead. Um, take the Skull over. Yeah, there are so many things I want to say about next patch. Playing it again the other day just reminded me how amazing it is. 
Not sure if they're going to try monetizing it or not, but they probably will. <laughs> but it's a pretty fun new system, to say the least. Oh, we'll go for Blood Bolt. Grab a green. Get right over. If I mention what aspect of Puzzle Quest 1 reminds me of it, it'll completely spoil what it is, though. So I won't mention that. I don't think it would completely spoil it, but it would give, like, a really, really big hint. But hopefully the um, spoiler image that they give um, they give on Saturday will allow me to kind of say something about it. There's, like, two images that they could post uh, about next patch, for the most part. Oh, technically three. And one of those three would give away everything of related to next pack, whereas the other two would not. There we go. Oh, we got the things for Nihi. Let's go bring them back. Oh, wait, did the quest auto complete? Or did I have to do it multiple times? Wait, what? I'm going to search for a set of wasp wings and also ice troll. Oh, there's a triple part to it. Hold up, where's the other part then? Oh, all the way over there. Oh no, it's this quest. One of the scavenger quests. I forgot about this. It makes you go like all the way across the map. The next one makes me go like all the way to the bottom, if I'm not mistaken. Also, does it not show the gold tributes? It shows the noise. I'm not seeing a number though, unless I'm just not paying attention. We need to see that next time we go take a tribute. Anyways. Let's go get quests. Let's continue the main storyline. Ogre Tactics. I'm afraid that I must ask... See, I think that sounds way too male if I try doing it like that. I'm afraid I may that I must ask for your help once again. If it will aid me in my quest to find out who is controlling the orcs, then I'm glad to sir, be of service. It may help indirectly. Uh, what do you mean, indirectly? Rokar has been stirring trouble with the ogres in the south. We are afraid that the is uh, getting... No, it doesn't work for her. <laughs> we are. She talks too normally. We are afraid that he is getting them ready to attack us uh, here in Rokar. Uh, how will solving your uh, ogre problem help me um, find what I'm looking for? I really hope we see more of that dwarf. The male dwarf. Actually, it might not. But ignoring these ogres will uh, hinder you if you uh, if they uh, decide to march north. Uh, best to travel uh, south and stop them now. Uh, that makes sense. I'll take care of it. That we shall. Also, we have like a billion quests here. Uh, though I don't need to do any of them now. Oh, wasp knowledge though. Hmm, that's tempting. How many wasps have I killed so far? We got the sting, which probably has... No, never mind. That's two giant scorpions. Ah, uh, never mind. That won't be enough battles. You'd have to kill three. We killed one. There'd be another. Unless we could find one just randomly laying somewhere. Where's that battle on me to do? All the way down there. Oh, I guess we did pass this kingdom again. Up. Oh, do we have a battle there? Well, after this battle, we can start capturing him at least, if nothing else. Oh, so I'm not sure if we get a wolf from killing Wolf Rider as a pet. I don't think we do. I think we have to kill the warg like three times and then capture it together with that pet. Pretty sure the thing that he's mounted on. We'll actually be able to ride it later. Not sure if we need to. I forget what this bonus is. Might be a green bonus. I completely forget. All the newer content seems directed at new play people. Well, I can say that this next patch is directed at everyone. Mostly endgame people. But also everyone. But particularly endgame people. For one really specific reason that I can't say. That I want to say so badly. <laughs> this is why I try not to play the beta too much. Get too excited about the next patch whenever I do. Still nice to see it though. And to help them fix it before they release it. 
a completely broken state again. <laughs> like they do almost every patch when it doesn't get tested by the community. Uh, let's see, move that over. Maybe not every, every single time, but we've had some pretty broken patches where they almost like make it more buggy than, buggier than, uh, than uh, it was initially. Well, the most recent passes, patches haven't been that bad in that regard. So some patches in the past have been like really, really bad for that. Where the state of the game would have been better if it just didn't even get the patch. But we haven't had any patches that bad lately. Uh, life drain him. The blood bolt. Anyone damage all right there. The red there. Get a uh, life drain. We got blues. Hopefully we can just use that red for a free turn. Uh, I can take it for a blue extra turn. I'm not sure if I want to though. Take it that way. If they need the red way more. Oh, we still get the extra turn. Nice. The only problem is we need greens. Uh, problem with that is we give them a skull if we take greens. So we'll uh, bolt them. Hopefully he'll give it to us. If he does not. I need to pass my turn again. Uh, we'll stick stars, I guess. Well, that doesn't work. I don't know, I kind of want that green, but I also want to take the skull. See what happens. Good. He gives the skull. Grab the blue, because we can. Grab that. Hopefully get double green. Nope. Take a bunch of yellow, and then probably a skull. Yep. Okay, we can life drain him into... Um... Oh, no, we don't. We don't have enough green, because he drained it. Whoops. Never mind. Uh, Blood Bolt? Let's just Blood Bolt him until we win. No more kills. All we have to do now is either skull or uh, Blood Bolt. Wait one turn. Any dies. Have I heard of Cynical? Yes. He watches his channel a decent amount. But I haven't seen him around too much lately. But yeah, he covers uh, Gems of War videos occasionally, as well as uh, I believe a few mobile games. Uh, there's a large number of ogres here, and uh, they appear to be hostile. We search for runes. Kind of runes here. Looking good. Uh, oh, that's actually an easy battle. I guess we'll take it real quick. Let's go take this real quick. Not sure what kind of rune we get from it, but uh, let's go grab it. It says easy, so hopefully it's quick. Supposedly it should be. I'll find out. It doesn't have anything that's going to kill us, so that's good at least. That doesn't look like we can quick kill him though. Also, both of these wild cards are almost useless. Actually, never mind. I can grab that for free. Oh, uh, well, I guess we life drain him. I don't have bolt mana though. Go for it. Hopefully this doesn't backfire. Good, it doesn't. Not yet. Good. Um, I say, oh, never mind. Hit him with that. Oh, we had mana for uh, free turn. But we don't. Now we can bolt him. Nice hefty damage. Get a heal. Bolt him again. Go from there. But we desperately need more red before we can. And more blue. More everything. Oh, uh, we'll take that and try for blues off the sky. Didn't get it. Grab the blue right there. Uh, we'll take this first. Nice. We can grab that for a skull. Before we do, let me get a free life drain in there. Grab that down. Nice, 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 nice. Heroic effort and free turn. Uh, still another skull over there. Throw a bolt next turn. Plenty more red though, which I kind of just ruined by taking that, but it will get the skull damage on it. I'll take the red and hope for sky blues. Some skull from sky. Oh, that's enough to life drain. Let's do that into bolts. Do that combo again, and we'll pretty much be one. Uh, as long as we get that doom skull there, we should be good to go. Uh, I don't want that green. So let's take that over. That green would do a doom skull, which we don't want. Ooh, problem. I just tried baiting him, but then he took his skip, so now. Uh, oh, never mind, there's one more safe move to go. Ah, oh, no. If that skull didn't get there, we would have gotten it. 
from him taking the green. I guess we grab that green then. Let's he won't. Yeah, we can channel fire for one drain. I guess we'll get this though first. And now we can channel fire if we need, which I believe we're gonna need. Uh, channel fire. Now we don't have enough for a bolt though. Any problem? Need more blues. Grab that for a wild card, which we can on nothing. Well, I can use on yellow, but that's not really useful. I guess I take it just so he doesn't. Hopefully, I'll give us red. Nope, but we get skull. Maybe we get red off the sky. Nope. Mana drain. That's fine. A few more skulls will kill it. If we get lucky enough, uh, two skulls will. Wise will take three. If we get the extra eight damage, it'll be two. Can I drop red into that wild? Doesn't look like it. Oh, be gold though. Get Doom Skull off the top. Good enough. Grab that, and one more hit will kill. At this point, all we need is that green off that wild card. Or skulls. Skulls work too. Uh, we'll take that, take that. Uh, skull, are you enough damage? Please so. Yes, exactly enough. There we go. We get a stone from that. Okay, next thing. That was not related to the quest. Actually, what's related to the quest is what we're on right now. Oh, I wonder if that's a uh, graphical issue. Yeah, there appears to be a couple graphical issues that they might need to go fix. Uh, I don't think gold's appearing on things. Unless I'm, like, completely blind and not paying attention. But I don't think the gold is appearing anywhere. It's, like, it uh, seems to be going to our top left value, I believe, still. But, um, before it would, like, show you the value over top of it. But, yeah, you can see we're getting the gold. Also, you could extremely exploit the, uh, infinite gold, by the way. Um, that's, like, so easy to do in this game. But, um... Let me just double check it when we go into it. Yeah, our gold's going up. It shows saving in the bottom right. But I see nowhere's on the screen is showing us we're getting gold. But yeah, absurdly easy to uh, exploit infinite gold. <laughs> Obviously, you would do it with multiple kingdoms. I was trying to see if it shows anywhere that we're getting the gold. Maybe in top left next to our gold value? No. Not. Like, it's going up, our gold, obviously. But it's not showing, like, plus 150 or whatever it is. I'm not sure what that gold's tribute is, but, uh... Yeah, it is not showing it. It's really weird. Also, speaking of that, did I upgrade the thing to max? I believe I did. Yeah, I got all the upgrades. Um, so we still need to go buy stats. I don't know if I'm going into attack or into all-in morale. I'm considering all-in morale, especially as it keeps getting more expensive as the uh, time goes on. But having eight battles is pretty important. Also, having eight water mastery and air mastery, pretty much having eight everything other than cunning <laughs> is pretty important. Technically cunning, I guess, too, but I don't know. You don't really need extra resources, and the only thing is four is for first turn. Unless you put an absurd amount into it, you're not getting first turn off it. Anyways, let's do the normal battle that we need for the quest. This is the quest battle, right? Yeah, this is the quest battle. The other battle was for the uh, trade stone, of course. Have I heard of 30 virus? No, of not. What is that? Grab a uh, red. Get rid of there. Oh wait, why am I taking red under skull right there? Hmm. I guess because it greens. Never mind. That was a correct move. Did we get a lot of green out of it? As long as we don't get mana drains, that was the correct move. Uh, let's see. Unintentionally doing the correct move. Now we don't have enough to channel fire, so let's do that. So he doesn't backfire with Sky Skull. Uh, he does not give us red, unfortunately. We could try for yellow turn off the top with two skull chances. Or a or wild card off the green. That works too. Nice. Uh, we'll take skull there. Double skull, apparently. <laughs> Triple skull off the sky. Too bad there wasn't one skull on the side, or else that would be an extra turn. Okay, I need a little bit of red here, so we'll do that. Life drain. Hold him. Combo him out. We'll do that in the corner and give us our free reds. Train him again. Uh, waste our turn so we can go blood bottom next turn again. Unfortunately, he denies our red. We'll pretty much always do if it's available. Take that and then blood bottom. We'll take a lot of free yellow right there, gosh. And blue. The thumpus. Thumpity thump thump. Hopefully, we can still take that red. Yep. Or you can get Sky Skull as well. Nope. We'll just take it. We have life drain combo. Uh, we still have enough uh, things for it as well. Actually, let me life drain and then take the red. 
And then we'll throw um, the other thing at him. That wild card we can't use for anything, nor can he though. Green, I don't think we need more at the moment. Let me just channel fire. Actually, I should probably take a stole. We're gonna need it in a second. Uh, let me life drain him. Goes down a lot as we life drain the green. Grab that skull that he created. Wild card still useless. Can't wait till we get poisoned and just auto win. Uh, like the amount, the rate at which we win is gonna increase absurdly once we get poison. I'm not sure if it will once we reach level 25, but once we get poison, the rate at which we win is gonna be hilariously quick. I should probably go attempt the battle. I don't think I've even attempted it yet. For all we know, once we get level 21, we can just go right into it. I think we have the equipment that we can just go for it, as long as we get lucky enough. Also, why did I not cast the life drain first? Why I did it in that order? Yeah, he just denied it. Too bad we couldn't get that on red. That would have been amazing. But oh well. Get that down, get the life drain, throw a bolt. <coughs> oh yeah, I've never played Minecraft ever. I have seen like some Minecraft footage and stuff, but I've never actually played Minecraft. I don't know who any of the Minecraft uh, YouTubers are. Uh, let's see. Grab um, stars right over there. So I have been considering making another YouTube channel eventually, all the way from scratch. I'll still maintain this one completely, of course. Just for topics that I wouldn't be able to cover normally on this channel, like more so it's social topics rather than like gaming. Uh Look for life drain there. <laughs> so, do we want an absurd amount of yellow? I guess, just so he doesn't. Never mind, it's only eight. I forgot. It takes the number of gems and then multiplies it by the thing. So, for example, we only took one yellow. So, it multiplied the um, multipliers by our one yellow. So, even though it was eight times multiplier, it only multiplied the one yellow by eight. So, it didn't give us that much mana. It only gave us, well, eight mana. Because that's how much the multiplier was up. However, if we took two into it, it would have been um, 16. But those were pretty small uh, multipliers to begin with, though. Oh, that gave him a lot. He didn't take it for a lot, though. That's a weird direction to take it in. Do I know Captain Sparkles? I've heard of it. I've probably watched some of his content. Um... Who specifically he is doesn't ring a bell. But I have watched his content before. It sounds like another Minecrafter, I think. I'm trying to think of what else he might have done. I know for sure I've seen that channel before. For whatever reason. Not sure why, though. Uh, do we channel it? Yeah, we can channel fire into um, my brain. Anyways, kill it out. Ah, uh, jeez, that enough damage? No. We go and um, take red, life drain, and then um, hopefully we get the blues too, because life drain's not gonna be enough. There we go. We can just take that blue and then just bolt him. Dead next turn, regardless of what he does. And he's dead. There we go. Uh, you have defeated the ogres! Uh, but the rest seem to be ignoring you. Oh no. You must fight them again. It's not a multi-battle that goes too long. I get the second time. I have to. Okay. Uh, battle. Where do we go? Oh, so they're making us fight this ogre too many times. We have to do it like four for the beginning of the quest. Now we're doing it like two now. There's probably some in between that we had to do. That were technically not mandatory, but we still have to do them. Just because we don't have a better pet yet. Which should be something we should start prioritizing soon. Rats were like one of the worst pets, other than for his little bit of cunning bonus. But aside from that cunning bonus, it's pretty bad. Not to mention cunning bonus in general is pretty bad later again to the game. You only need it for like a few base value after that. Any extra cunning is pretty useless in this game. Well, life drain through a bolt. 
Uh, this one looks like it's going to go quite a bit quicker than the previous one, though. Because we have a much better setup for it this time around, at least as far as starting board is concerned. Oh, life drain him. Actually, I didn't need to do that life drain. We already had max HP. That was a little bit of a waste. Or green mana. Uh oh, whoa. We can get a skull there. Hopefully, he'll go star into us being able to take a skull. That's exactly what he just did. Thank you. And we can cascade green to it. Grab all that mess. Uh, I want that red, but it's very dangerous to take it, so I'm not going to. We'll stick the green and try for sky red. Red directly, unfortunately, but then we can grab that. We do not get a skull, nor can I drop it. Um, I guess we'll take a blue then. Oh, never mind. That gives him too much value. The other one's dangerous. When we pass our turn, I guess we just blood bolt him again. Yep, can we pass our turn again? Uh, I could channel fire into... Wait, can I drop? Uh, yes, I can. Let me just nightmare him then. Grab the blue. Take the doom skull. There we go. Oh, he gets a skull out of that though. Oh well. Get the wild card. Oh no, we don't. Never mind. I had one instead of red. Oh well. Ooh, that double wild card red. Luckily, it was only one connecting into it, so it wasn't as much mana. But I wanted that mana. Even nine, still good. You can try the fire again, but that's not really going to do much for us. So most of this is not going to do much for us. We'll take that for now. Oh, is Captain Sparkles that one that did those music video things? I might remember him now. Didn't he do that, like, one Minecraft uh, Diamond Sword video? And the Minotaur Tar. I think it was the one that did the Minotaur Tar video. Uh, unless I'm thinking of someone else. I'm pretty sure he was the Minotaur Tar guy. We grab here. Uh, do we channel fire? Still don't need it, but uh, we'll take the right over there. Grab uh, channel fire into. I mean, not channel fire. Life drain into blood bolt. Well, we need the blues, so we'll grab that. Actually, do we even bother blood bolting it? They're so damaged that we probably don't blood bolt for us this battle. Oh yeah, Toby. Okay, yeah, now I remember. I don't generally watch too many, like, really big YouTubers, for the most part. Like, I watch other YouTubers, but very rarely is it, like, the really, really big ones. Often not. Which I can't think of, like, a single absurdly big YouTuber that I watch on a regular basis. I don't think any at this current moment in time. He still had to pass at some point. Some of them. Oh, uh, the grab now. Kind of fire and take blue. Kind of really low um, yellow this time around. Normally I don't take yellow because we have so much yellow. We don't use it for much. So at least not until later in the game. But uh, we do not have excess yellow this time around. The wild card and an extra turn, nice. So I can go get all the yellow we want now. I can't actually turn that though. I can grab it, but I can't actually turn it. Now let's go life drain him. Return. Eat the life. Let's grab all the yellow we need for us to battle them. That should be enough. Okay. Uh, channel fire. Did we go for it? Probably. Now we got a lot of those extra colors. Life drain him. Bolt we still hold off on though. Nightmare. I can't really set up into anything. So we won't take it. I don't think we have anything here. Nothing good, so let's try to fire. Yeah, we'll try to fire. I don't want to run out of green, though. So we're heading there. Getting close. Who's my favorite YouTuber at the moment? Ah, uh, that's a good question. I've been watching Keyline quite a bit because he covers other Gems of War stuff. I don't think he's even hit a thousand subscribers yet. Though he's getting pretty close if he hasn't already. I 
Oh, so I've been watching some Warcraft 3 stuff again. And, uh, I've been watching Witty. He's been covering it for a while. Actually, I even asked him something about YouTubing a while, while back. Like, before I even started my channel. Like, when I was originally going to start the channel, which was a few years before I ever actually started the channel. End up asking him stuff, some stuff about YouTubing. And he's been doing it for a while now. He's been doing it for, like, a decade, I want to say. Maybe longer. He's not that well known and for anyone who doesn't play Warcraft 3. He's not, like, the most well-known Warcraft 3 person, but I'm pretty sure he's pretty high up there. Uh, on a competitive level, he's not. Uh, on the competitive scene. As far as, like, people who are, like, well-known in the game, I'm pretty sure he's, like, probably top five. Uh, let's see. Kind of fire. Life drain him. So we're close to death. Luckily we can take all that red and be pretty much good to go. 26 red. Very nice. Okay, let's go life drain them. Because now we can. The problem is all those channels earlier that we ended up spamming the channel uh, thingies. Uh, now I made it so we don't have uh, enough green. We channel it all away. Let's go. Did it tell me to take it upward? Got a little cascade chance. Or that. That also works. <laughs> Absurd amount of triple gold out of nowhere. I'll take it though. I guess the AI is not taking it. Blood Bolt's kind of pointless unless we're doing his final hit at this point. I'm gonna hold on that. Keep life drain spamming him. Only problem is we need more green. There's a wild card. Can I drop into it? No. I use it for anything. He's trying to get me to do it. I'm trying to get me to use it on yellow. I guess we'll just get rid of it so he doesn't. Look okay, at we got green off the cascade. Nice. Uh, skull as well. Uh, we just life drain into skull. Do you think you can play Rune Factory? Tied to Destiny? Never heard of it. It's one of your favorite games ever. And it kind of fits the channel. Also might enjoy it. I can possibly look into it later. There's so many games I want to play in like the near future. Too many games. Too little time. <laughs> for one, I want to finish out Puzzle Quest 1. At least the full completion for uh, Blood Mage, of course. What we're doing now. Um, probably gonna be playing it through twice, though the second playthrough might be a little bit later. We'll probably play through this completely once, maybe cover some little bit of content for it. Probably no one's gonna make guides on it. Um, uh, mainly because there's not as many people to make guides for, since it's a relatively small player base this game. Though I did check it earlier, it was 30 on the eShop. It was top 30, let me go double check it now. Which means it sold a decent amount of copies. I'm not sure how many you need to sell to make top 30. But it made top 30 uh, earlier. Let me see. And with a sale, with like a 50% sale, they could easily make like top 10 probably. Uh, yep, there it is. Number 30. Of course, that's pretty far down. But at this current moment in time, it is the 30th most selling eShop title on... Uh, wow, does this completely went all over the place. But um, let's see. What's, how much higher up does it go download only? Because it is a download only game. 17. Even higher, nice. It's actually the highest new game. I didn't even realize that. Oh, well, no, actually, you can't count that. <laughs> Never mind. Well, Untitled Goose Game has, like, a meme that um, went crazy. And Castle Crashers um, is a huge game. Uh, but not counting those two, it's actually the highest new game right now. Or oh, it's, like, this smaller new game title. So it's more like a mid-range. But, um, yeah, it's 17 right now for download only and 30 overall. Actually, it's right next to how well uh, Fire Emblem's selling right now. So that's a little bit inaccurate because it's been out for a while, for like a little over a month now, plus its um, physical copies could be sold of that. Or this is download only. But anyways. I want to close you. Uh, back to that. Where were we? Grab, um, we need here. Oh, what am I doing? We're good one. As long as it doesn't kill ourselves. Uh, we still haven't figured out what happens when you draw. Last I recall, we lose if we do. Are you the only one in chat? Well, there's plenty of other people here, but you're the only one chatting. So yes, at the moment. As many people catch our puzzle question. Uh, okay, so we finished out everything there. 
go complete out the quest thing. This was the mainline story too, so we we'll continue that. Uh, return to Krona. You've done well once again. You were right, Krona. These uh, those uh, ogres are trouble. I think uh, that all I've done is slow them down. I sent Gro 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 <laughs> I sent uh, Grokar's hand in all this. He knows more than he's telling us. We'll deal with uh, Grokar uh, when the time is right. Quest complete. Uh, also, while I'm here, let me go check the shop. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. No. Why are all the buyable items mostly useless compared to the craftable ones? Not in every situation. More often uh, compared to quest items and everything else. I guess so you don't have to wait for like a specific one before you can do anything. So you can just go craft them and, or um, get them for stories. So it goes with your progression. How many titles have... Uh, wait, how many titles... Do you have for Switch? Do I have for Switch? I don't have too many games for it. Um, let's see, what's the full rundown? I haven't been getting too many um, games so far. But we have Puzzle Quest. I actually just downloaded YouTube today because I was testing something with it. Um, Super Kirby Clash. I haven't streamed that. Pretty fun free-to-play game. Uh, you can get through the whole game free-to-play pretty easily. Smash Ultimate, which is amazing. Super Smash Party. I mean... um. Uh, Super Mario Party, which I absolutely love the Mario Party series. However, they need to give this proper online. They also need to go give it DLC. Apparently, there's some kind of DLC that they're planning on doing, possibly eventually. Um, some hackers found that there's DLC like hidden within the game. That was either been there the whole time and they were just going to sell it separately or something. But this game has never been updated. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I think it had like one bug fix patch. If I go check it real quick. Uh, where's the info thing on it? Wait, where's the info thing on it? Uh, oh yeah, duh. I have another program open. Go check it. Uh, Mario Maker 2, Fire Emblem, great game. Uh, Nintendo System, Uno. I actually play Uno a decent amount. I don't have too many hours on it, but I use it when I exercise. Mario Kart, which is nice. Tetris 99, which is a fun little thing. Gems of War, obviously, though. I play, don't play Gems of War that much, actually, on this. And other than that, um, a couple indie games like Kings of Hyrule, Crypt, Wargroove, which is kind of like Fire Emblem, but way, 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 way more simplified. Uh, Delta Runes Chapter 1. I don't have, um, what's his name on here, but that's because I played it. Uh, Undertale. That's because I played it already. Uh, the other Nintendo system, and Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is, uh, oddly enough, the first game I got. And a friend gave it to me. That and technically Mario Party at the same time. But, um, yeah, not much. Like, it fills up, like, just this page. <laughs> like, it's barely any at all. Uh, let's see. We need to stop the ogres in the south. Uh, but yeah, if you're going to go for, like, any game, as far as what I've played, I could definitely highly advise uh, Smash. Um, trying the Kirby thing might as well. It's free to play. But uh, Smash and Fire Emblem, I'd probably say, are, like, the two, like, absolute must-haves from what I've played so far. Um, of course, there's things like Mario Odyssey and, um, um, uh, what's it called? Um, Breath of the Wild. But I haven't bothered getting them. I don't know. I've seen so much content of both the games. I don't think feel like it'd be worth me getting. But uh, both of these have a really, really high amount of replay value. Fire Emblem has like anywhere from 300 to 1,000 hours worth of gameplay. Uh, possibly even more with future DLC. And it might be getting eventual multiplayer. If it gets multiplayer, that is going to be insanely interesting to see how that pans out. I believe it would be the first Fire Emblem ever with fire, uh, multiplayer. I'm not 100% certain on this. It's actually the first Fire Emblem I've ever played. Yeah, fire Emblem and... Um, um, uh, Super Smash Bros. Like, definitely must-haves. And I guess technically, uh, Puzzle Quest as well, since it's technically a Switch exclusive at this exact moment in time. If we're gonna get, like, two actual, like, Nintendo, Nintendo games, those are, like, the two I would say to get. Uh, we need to stop the ogres in the south, but I need your advice on how to do it. Oh, and Mario Kart. You can't not get Mario Kart. Mario Kart's amazing. Uh, there's a city of ogres called, uh, Gluck, south past the village, uh, of Grok. Uh, where you traveled before. Though I do have to say, Mario Kart has a really, really big lack of single-player content. Um, like, you have to be have uh, on online or friends to play with if you're going to bother getting that game. Whereas Smash, it doesn't matter as much. 
kind of. Um, so you generally want to have online for that too, because that's where most of the content is. Uh, do they have a leader there? But anyways, let's get back to Puzzle Quest. <laughs> uh, they are ruled by an ogre mage. I did not know his name, but if you are a strike against them, then they will fall back into chaos. Not even Grokar will be able to organize them. Then it sounds like it's time to pay visit to Gluck. Off we go. To Gluck. Where'd he go? Oh, is he all the way over there? Ah, uh, we need a better pet. We do not want to run through these many people. No, I am not fighting you. You know what? We're going to use the uh, kingdom back and forth thing. Get gold and to try to uh, get him to move. Wait, have we claimed this kingdom? Oh, wait, never mind. It's all the way over here. Wait, why is there another story quest over there? Oh! Plague Lord expansion. That's why. That's the Plague Lord expansion quest line of uh, start, if I'm not mistaken. That's not the main storyline, though, so I'm not going to take that yet. I wonder where the stone quest line thingy starts, if it has a similar thing like that. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where uh, Plague Lord DLC starts, which comes with the game. You don't have to buy it separately. It just comes with the game. But, um... Yeah, we never did Siege this place, did we? Well, actually, we didn't uh, unlock this place until it just came out through this quest line, so that's why. But anyways, let's go fight out the uh, Ogre Mage. And then go and Siege the Kingdom, if it's easy enough to take. Okay, first off, let's go and grab a Skull. Like that. Grab herself a um, right over there. What else we need? Grab our stars over. Four of a kind into that cascade. Pick green. Uh duh, duh, duh. You like the Griffin Mount makes you look so cool. I know, Griffin Mount's fun. Griffin and Dragon Mount are probably the funnest just to have, just for the sake of having a mount like that. And you actually get to see its graphic as you ride it, too, if I'm not mistaken. I wonder how, if, how much they updated that in this version. Probably not much. <laughs> but uh, last I recall in normal Puzzle Quest, and I assume in this one, too, you get to see the thing that you're riding on underneath you. So once we get a Griffin, we'll be riding on a Griffin. Because, yeah, we definitely do. Because we're riding on a rat right now, duh. Um, so, yeah, I would do it for all the pets. Once we get them. But we currently only have the rat, so we definitely need to be getting more soon. Plus, that's a lot of wild cards. Somehow, I can't use a single one, though. Well, I guess I could use it for blue, but that's not that favorable. I guess we still go for it, though. We'll use it to max out our blue for the rest of this battle. That's not really maxing it, but still a hefty amount. Oh yeah, craftable equipment in this game is really nice. We're going to be getting some pretty strong ones soon. I should probably go get that wasp kill and try attempting for it. Once we get that wasp kill and kill and uh, craft the weapons from it, we're going to be good to go for a while. But first I need that wasp kill. Let's just max out our blue, I guess. What I need to do is max out our green, though. Oh, you know what? I should have grabbed that for yellow. I can still try for it off of Sky, though. Didn't get it. Take the Skull. Oh, no, actually, we'll use the Wild card. Okay, well, we'll take the Skull, then. Come on, right off of Sky. Nope, didn't get it. We can get that Wild card into it if we got lucky. But I think our red's almost maxed, but still. I grab some yellows just in case, and then we need a lot of green. Okay, we can't really do anything here. Take that for now. Nice little extra turn. Grab herself a um, crab gold there. It's one of our only few moves. Goal. Up oh, there goes all of our mana. Goodbye, red. Oh, I'll take the other red for now. Start your turn there. Bam, I'm trying to think of Switch exclusive games that are coming up soon that are going to be decent. Um, Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games. I've played some of the previous ones. I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting this one. The biggest issue with that game is, um, it's more of like a party game than something that would have infinite replayability. 
Like, Mario Party, I find to be both. Like, it has both infinite replayability and it's like a party game. However, um, Mario and Sonic in the Olympic Games, at least in the past, I don't feel like they've ever really had really high replay value. Unless you had people to play it with. So it does have online, which is a big difference this time around. So maybe that would help it out a bit. Um, since it does have online, so you always have people to play it with technically. That would probably help its um, longevity a bit. But uh, other than that, I guess the big next big release is probably Pokemon November. Or is like Nintendo Nintendo games. Uh, got the green there. And I haven't played a Pokemon game in, gosh, how long has it been? Pearl was the last one. Pearl was what, 2008? It's been ages since I played a Pokemon game. And it's sad because they're not doing National Pokédex. Though in a way that almost doesn't matter because um, I haven't played a Pokemon game for so long. That even without a National Dex for Pokemon... The amount of Pokemon in the game is probably still the same amount that I am used to within a Pokemon game. It's probably going to be around like four to five hundred. I'm pretty sure Pearl had like six hundred. Somewhere around there. Also, I think I'm going to sh uh, hunt for Shinies for the first time. I've never actually hunted for Shinies in Pokemon before. Nor have I tried min-maxing Pokemon in Pokemon before. Because I was too young to even understand remotely what that was. <laughs> Back when I uh, was first playing them. But I think we'll do that some for this Pokemon. We're not going to go crazy with it. But I really want a shiny Corviknight. Uh, and probably a few others. I really love Corviknight. It's probably my favorite Pokemon being added this next gen. Definitely going to be one of my primary Pokemon. I just wish they would finally release like what Pokemon are actually going to be in. Like I'm fine with it. With them um, not doing a national dex. But I really, 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 really want to know which Pokemon are going to not be in the game. Or which ones will specifically be in the game. Um, because they haven't really posted that anywhere, I don't believe. Like, what the full list is going to be. Like, I understand them not revealing, like, the newer ones. But they're not even revealing, like, what older ones are coming back in. Which is weird. Uh, let's see. Life drain, right? Yeah, we'll just do that into Bolt. Get him killed a bit quicker. You'd like uh, Let's Go Pokemon uh, in Eevee. Yeah, I played the first um, the first two quite a bit. Uh, Pokemon Yellow, Red, Blue, um, Green, and um, Silver and Gold. Those I probably have the most amount of playtime in. That and Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. Like, that combination of games, I probably have more time in than all the other Pokemon combined. So then again, that would only be like three other Pokemon then. Let's see, what other Pokemons have I played other than that? So all the Pokemon games I've played are um, all the colors. <laughs> all the basic colors. Yellow, red, blue, green, um, silver, gold, Pokemon Stadium 1, Pokemon Stadium 2. That really weird version of Pokemon that had those like dark forms. I think it was called Pokemon DX. It was a really, really weird game. Um, it was kind of like a Pokemon Stadium entry, but then wasn't. Kind of. I don't know how to describe it, but it was the, um, one that had the Dark Lugia and all that dark mechanics. I can't remember its name. I think it was Pokemon DX something. I don't know. But, um, I played that. Um, I played the Wii version of the thing that was kind of like Pokemon Stadium. The one that everyone keeps referencing has better animations than the Pokemon that's coming out now. Um... Actually, if I'm not mistaken, it had the best animations of any Pokemon game ever. Because it had improved ones compared to Pokemon Stadium. The game locked, lacked a lot of content. But it made up for that in graphics. <laughs> uh, let's see. Life drain him there. I hate that they never did any minigames again. Like, Pokemon Stadium 1. I love games that have minigames. One of the reasons I like Mario Party so much is one of the reasons I like Warcraft 3 so much. Because Warcraft 3 is basically an infinite number of minigames as a game. That all use similar mechanics. Which is like a perfect minigame format. I'm going to be so hyped when uh, Warcraft 3's remake comes out. Because then everyone's going to be creating maps for it again. And updating the older ones. And people actually have been updating the older ones. I tried Warcraft 3 again last week. Uh, earlier last week. And um, people are still updating maps from like a decade ago. 
It's amazing. Okay, we just gained another level. It felt like forever since we gained a level. But uh, let's go all in on red. I need to go get uh, plus nine for... Uh, oh, never mind. Oh, we already got our plus eight. Perfect. And then let's go into... Um, uh, I guess we'll go to our plus eight and then go into green. So we get plus six green. Then maybe go back into red. Sounds like our game plan. Okay, anyways. Quest done. Uh, what's the side quest here? Oh, I think I know who the side quest is. That's the one eating guy, isn't it? Let me see. Get quest. Spider meat. Yep. I knew it. Called it. I'm trying to remember. It's Drong! Uh, Drong here! Uh, Drong! Hmm. Hmm. I can't do voices today, can I? <laughs> Drong hears that you're pretty tough. You fight lots of ogres and won! I only fight and protect my homeland. I have no quarrel with you. Drong don't care about that. Drong not interested in fighting. Drong only interested in eating. So how can I help you, Drong? Drong needs somebody tough to go and catch a dragon spider. Drong never eats in one before. Where can I find one of these uh, dragon spiders? Also, I just noticed how much taller he is than her. Uh, they live in Drogon Valley, up north. Uh, Drong, uh, give you magic hat if you get some and bring it to his tower. Well, when uh, you put it that way, uh, how can I refuse? We get the magical hat. Our way to getting our quests completed on the other side. Also, if I'm not mistaken, isn't Scorpion a pet? I think we fought it zero times. There's a quest where we fight it twice uh, that we haven't done yet. The Pass on it for now, I think. We'll get to fight it twice later, and then we can just go and pass it one more time. Or kill it one more time and then capture it. Uh, but anyways. Let me go try... Uh, we don't have anything in our path. Let me go to the fang thing real quick. Now that we got a level, let's see if we can take this battle. It's level 25, I already know. Um, but if we can kill this battle... Easy mode, go. No, I said I'd do all of it on hard. But uh, let's do it on hard and see if we can actually get this kill. I hope we can. We should be able to. There's a good chance we can kill this, even though it's four levels above us. The equipment we have right now. The biggest issue is if it starts poison spamming us. Here, I'll do that to give it a star. I need the red. Fortunately, we did not actually turn that. Okay, let me go life drain it and bolt it. Uh, actually, should I bolt it? I'll bolt it once. But only once. Actually, no, I won't bolt it. Biggest issue is uh, we're going to need all of our life once it starts poisoning us. Well, I'm hesitant on the bolts. Also, it ends our turn when we do it. Ah, do I life drain? Might as well bolt at that point. Yeah, let me grab that. Beta does not give him a skull. The swoops to knock out our yellow a bit. That's fine. Ah. Uh, what did I grab? What's it trying to tell me to take gold? I don't want to. Uh, at least not in that way. Take that and then go through some life heals. For a life heal into a skull. Any specific way to take it? I guess we'll take it this way. Grab that. Yeah, I know, Drong. He loves food. All he does is eat. Spoilers, we have to feed him like five or six times or something. He has like a whole arcing quest line. And then he joined your team. That's not main storyline related, so I won't don't mind spoiling it. <laughs> uh, all the main storyline stuff I won't spoil. So did I spoil Lord Bane? I think pretty sure it mentioned he's Lord Bane. But yeah, he's called Lord Bane, the final boss. Or one of the final bosses, I should say. Because with DLC, there's actually technically multiple that could theoretically be considered under it. Like the Playthrough expansion final boss, and there's probably one for the Golem expansion. But I don't think we've started the main quest line for the Golem expansion. I think we've seen quests that might have been related to it. I don't think we've started, if he even has like a main storyline, I don't think we've started the main storyline. I know Plague Lord does. Not sure if they added it for this new quest thing. <gasps> also, we're going to be able to kill this. We're going to be able to be 